Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. A couple of weeks ago a guy asked me how to create screamers. Um, you know, kind of flashing images that comes with, uh, you know, sudden sounds that make you scream or scare you at least. So-called cheap shot horror movie bullshit effects. <laughs> I've played a little with it and I'm gonna show you what I came up with on how to create it. And as you can see I've set up a little scene here, a simple corridor, you know, for the mood's sake. Uh, so we can start by creating a folder. So I'm just gonna right click, new folder, I'm gonna call it Screamers. Um, and I found a kind of creepy image on Google and also a scream sound effect so I'm gonna use those uh, but since they're not mine then I can't I can't put them up for you know download so you gotta find your own so here we have it I'm gonna use this image and yeah this scream <laughs> so that's that's cool so the next thing now is we will use create a blueprint class an actor I'm just gonna call that scream area and I will also create a UMG widgets blueprint. So go to user interface, then widget blueprints. Scream widgets. Save again. So we can start by going into the scream widget. Attach this up here. So I'm just gonna take an image from the palette, 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 and drag it down onto the canvas panel. Move it to the middle of the screen and make it bigger. Just make it as big as you want. And then in the details panel here, we will go to appearance, then brush. An image, search for your uh, creepy image, select it, and then you know, make it have the dimensions you want, and to make sure that it's actually that it will appear in the middle of the gaming screen, then you gotta take this flower looking thing and place it in the middle like this. Now, compile and save. Then go into your Scream Area Blueprint class and add component. Simple box collision will do. I'm gonna call this Scream Box. And I will make it bigger 10 by 10 by 10. Just because. Compile. And then with it selected, go into the event graph, right click, add event for screen box, collision, add on component begin overlap. Now drag this node out and take widget, create widget. Class, select your screen widget. And then drag this out and search for viewport. Then choose add to viewport. And make sure to connect target to the return value. 
Um, so now it will uh, it will be visible when you overlap the box, but we just want it to be there for a little while and then uh, be gone again. So drag this out and then find the delay. And I want it to be visible for about one second. And then after one second, I will remove this from the viewport. Remove. Um, okay, so this is uh, what happens sometimes when you have the context sensitive checked. So remove that. And then find remove from parent and connect target. Let's see. Connect the target of this to that one so it knows that this widget is the parent. Apparently, that's the parent, sir. So, and also we want the sound to be played, so I'm gonna create some space here. And some space here, and then I'm gonna drag out this again. I'm gonna take play sound at location, then select assets and search for your sound. Mine is called Scream, like that. Okay, and then just for, just because I have to comment, Screamer Blue, ah, Screamer Function, Function, Function. I just have to make it look pretty. Yes. Okay. Then compile, save, and back into the scene. You take your Scream Area Blueprint class and place it into the scene. And I want to play it to just past the corner and then rah. So like that, perhaps. Save now. Let's see. Play. Oh, I just need to make some more space because that looks better. That just looks so much better, man. Play. <laughs> okay, so the scream lasted much longer than, you know, the image. So what we can do then is uh, go to the play sound at location and on the pitch multiplier just make it quicker maybe 15 go back out and see <laughs> yeah that's better that's pretty funny actually so now you could place this wherever in the level you know and it will happen every time you overlap. And of course, you could also set up set up multiple of these widgets with different uh, images. So you would walk a little while and pff, new image, and then later on it's a new image. You know. Yeah. So hope that was a cool little thing, and let me know what you think, and have a great day.